Good afternoon, beloved friends of St. Matthew's and beyond. It's Friday afternoon. I usually take time off on Fridays, but I wanted to check in with you and see how you were doing. And also, I wanted to extend an invitation. This Sunday um, at 11.45, I'll be starting a new Bible study on Zoom. Um, it's not just for St. Matt's people, it's for anyone who's interested in joining our adult forum. So Sundays, 11.45 at Zoom, on Zoom, and um, you can get the link from our Facebook page. There'll be a Facebook event, and there you can find the Zoom link. And I'm very excited because we're starting a new study, uh, a study of selected psalms. Um, why am I so excited about that? Well, one, the material is great, um, but um, I'm especially excited because psalms are really powerful songs songs of lament and thanksgiving, both um, expressing the lament and thanksgiving of individuals as well as whole communities. Um, individuals and communities who find themselves in particularly challenging times or acute times of suffering. And I think that what we're experiencing right now, both individually and collectively, um, in the coronavirus pandemic, as well as the quarantine and, and the various anxieties that that has evoked, I think that this is really a really uh, perfect time to delve back into these ancient texts and see what they have to say about um, peace, people's longings and how in our relationship with God, we express that longing, express our anxieties and concerns, but also um, recraft our trust in God and um, uh, cement anew our relationship with God. So um, I really want to just invite you to participate in that. It starts at 11.45 immediately after our worship service, um, 11.45 on Zoom. Um, to whet your appetite, um, I thought I would read a sample for you. I'm gonna read Psalm 3, oh, but I forgot to mention, if you have a suggestion of a particular psalm that you think we should be looking at over the next few weeks, I'd like to invite you to put a psalm number in the comments um, and um, we'll add that to the materials that we'll look at. We'll be doing this study of the psalms for several weeks now, so there's a lot of time to um, delve into some of your favorite psalms. Anyway, a little, um, a little taste of a psalm, Psalm 3, is what I wanted to read for you today. Um, in some ways, Psalm 3 is really the first psalm, even though it's number three. The first two are really kind of introductory psalms. Psalm 3 is what we call a psalm of trust. Um, it is um, the voice of someone who is experiencing acute suffering, actually probably illness, and they are speaking to God out of that suffering from their home, um, reaching out from their, the confines of their home, to God, but it's a, also not just an expression of that suffering, it's really a, a wonderful psalm or song of thanksgiving as well for they know, they have such confidence in God and they know that God is going to um, restore them, redeem them. So here is Psalm 3, just for you. O Lord, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me, many are saying to me, there is no hope for you in God, but you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cry aloud to the Lord and he answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep. I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I'm not afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Rise up, O Lord, deliver me, O my God, for you strike all my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. May your blessing be on your people. Actually, that's not the psalm I wanted to read to you. That's Psalm 3. What I wanted to do was read you Psalm 4, so I'm going to read you Psalm 4 too. Psalm 4 is the psalm of trust. My mistake. So I'm going to read you Psalm 4 as well. And then we can take a look at these again on the weekend. Answer me when I call, O God, of my right. You gave me room when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. 
How long, you people, shall my honor suffer shame? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? But know that the Lord has set apart the faithful for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. When you are angry, do not sin. Ponder it on your beds and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, oh, that we might see some good. Let the light of your face shine on you, O Lord. You put gladness in my heart more than when their grain and wine abound. I will both lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me lie down in safety. That's my wish for you tonight, that you will lay, lie down and sleep in peace, beloved people. And um, hope to see some of you Sunday at 1145, and we will delve into songs together. Blessings to you this afternoon.